Have you ever ripped a trace from your PCB during a repair job? No problem, I will show you my way how we can fix this with some simple tools. Let's get started. And here we have our ripped trace, exactly this pad over here. Now you're asking how we can fix that. That's not that difficult. To tackle this, I will use some tools. First, a grinding pan, my beloved Mayend D2, and I fear a printed, yeah, compartment for it. And if you ask what this is, this is Gridfinity. This is basically, yeah, a storage system. I will link it below. It's really cool and awesome. So if you own a 3D printer, go for it. I highly recommend it. Um, and you see there are some polish bits, um, some cutting util utilities, um, a bigger grinding pan, but I love to use this, yeah, pointy one. And you will see in a moment why I love this. To swap these out, it's really easy. You just pull, put something else in and you are done. It's that easy. So that's number one. Second step. I love to use these. Yeah, let's say these are trace repair stickers i will show you in a moment how it works just for information i will link all the tools in the description below and to finish all up we should use some solder mask this is blue i got it in different colors yellow and also a green one what this is it just hardens our I will, you know what, I will show you in a moment. Yeah, and we do need, or I use, my hot air soldering gun for some jobs, but uh, yeah, that's not necessary, and this is a quite expensive one, but you can also get them for really, really cheap, and I mean a range of 40 bucks, 30 bucks, around this mark. But if you are really into this stuff, I highly recommend something more doable, like this quick AO5A. Two, three. Let's use our trusty microscope camera to see a bit better what I am doing here. Okay, let me grab a tool that I can show you something. Let's use this. Yeah, this thing over here. It's called the tweezer. Wow. <laughs> oh, and you see here, there is still the patch on the tweezer. I accidentally ripped off this PCB. And of course, we want to fix this, right? You see, this pad, it's gone. That's where we now need our grinding pan. So step one is grind something from our yeah, remaining trays to work with. So let's turn it on. You see it's rotating and spinning fastly. And now we will gently go over this area. Like so. And you see it's very precise. Okay, let's stop it. Now I just will use a cut and swap and some isopropyl alcohol, 99%. Go over here and we see beautiful scraped down trace where we can use some solder to wet it a bit. Let's do that. So I will turn on my soldering iron. It's always a good idea to clean it, obviously. Um, that's why you use these, these sponges. Just do it before any soldering job. And it should be clean as it could be. Nice. Now we will grab some solder. By the way, this is also Gridfinity. There are some magnets on. Fume extractor, very important. Always use a fume extractor. It's for your health. Don't risk your health for stuff like this. Okay, and something very important, I can't stress enough. Flux. Always use flux. 
like so. That's plenty. It helps the solar flow. And now we will put some solar on our trays. We just scrape back or grind it back. Nice. Now to these interesting strips. See, there is a protective layer over this. I highly recommend keeping this, otherwise this will fastly, yeah, get messy and they will float around. Now, what's also very important, grab yourself a very good tweezer. Maybe this could work. Let's check it out. I bend it a bit. And I just grab, grab it like so. And for me, it's the easiest thing is to use a second tweezer. Whoops, and it fell down. It's also good. Now we will align it properly. Let's see if I can get rid of the glare. Mm. Maybe like so. I think it's better with all of, with all the light segments. After our alignment, we will just solo this. Clean the solder, ring iron with the sponge. Put something on the tip. And let's see if we get some so long this pad here that looks good nice to remove the excess we will just wiggle it. Oops, that was stupid. Let's use knife. Cut it. And take it. Okay. Now we will grab another cotton swap, soak it with IPA, and clean it. Mm hmm. Now let's check if the connection is, is there. For this, we will use an altimeter in continuity mode. So this means it will beep. When we put those probes together, then we put one probe on this end and the other of the PCB trace. And you see it's beeping. This means we have a valid connection. And now you see this trace doesn't look good or not that perfect. To protect this area over here, that's where the soldering mask come into play. What this does, it reacts to UV light. So we'll take this here, and I like to use uh, the brush for it, put something on this brush. And put this onto our trace. Yeah, that's plenty as you can see. So that was maybe a bit too much. But it's not a problem. Let's spread it a bit. It won't hurt. It's just a layer of protection. So if you use a brush, you should clean it. For this, I also keep 
some of these yeah cap bottles and put some IPA in there. That's perfect, just to clean the brush. Nice. Now we use a UV light like this. This will turn off automatically. After some time, I will always do two or three runs with it to, sure, to make sure that it's really hardened. So you basically just put this over our area and click one time and you see it's lighting up. Now it's doing its magic. I will fast forward that for you. First pass done, second pass incoming. Okay, let's have a look. Here it goes. And now we will use hot air on the lowest settings we can find. So let's have a degree C in my case. I will give it a short burst. Just to dry it a bit. Let's see if it's already enough. I see it's still a bit wobbly, but to be fair, that was a large amount of of it. So let's do another pass. Yeah. It's still not perfect, I think I just used too much of it. But just keep it in mind, don't flood it, just a flat layer of it and you will be fine. Okay, but anyway, so now we have our pad and yeah, that's basically it to be honest. Um, Where is my IC? Let's use Flux. I don't do the, the whole ship. Well, this area over here, especially our, yeah, our trace, our pad, we just repaired. Now, let's wet the pads. Oops. And you see here another, another trace that, yeah, just lifted a bit. But it's still there, so that's okay. Yeah, this is our hat we just restored. So the one this that's still there. We can realign gentle notch with our tweezer. Yeah, something like this. Yep. By the way, the orientation normally is marked with something. In this case, it's marked with this little dot over here, and this has to match with this indentation over here. Sometimes it's a triangle or something, but yeah. That's just a side note. And now, let's see if we can solder it. Oops, I bent this leg. I think I will just use my finger. Hopefully I won't burn myself. Okay. Editing Marcus here. Yes, I'm aware that the whole I see isn't aligned properly. I just want to show you, yeah, that it's possible to solder our restored pad properly. Yeah, it's not really aligned, but you get the idea, huh? I think I produced a bridge over here. And if you wonder what that is, this is solar wick. That's essentially a sponge for solar. You see, the path is moving, but this isn't really a problem. Let's apply more flux. Nice. Let's 
Yeah, I think it should be fine. Let's clean it. And there you have it. All our fixed trays. Let's check it. Meter in continuity mode. And now, why don't we check this repair trace over here? It goes over here to this pad here, and you see it works. So these pads over here, you see there are different pads sizes, and there are multiple more on AliExpress, wherever you want to buy these. Okay guys, now it's your turn. What do you think? Is this a good way or good alternative to repair traces? How would you do it? Just let me know. I mean, let's build a community and learn from each other. So, I'm very curious about your ways of dealing with this. Hey, pshht. You want to see a real example of using this technique? No problem. Watch this video and you will see it. And as always, happy tinkering.